Hi everybody, this is John Andrews again, Social and Digital Media Manager for Redport Information Assurance. In this presentation, I'm bringing back the basics of computing and what it's really all about. If someone viewing this video is already, already tech savvy, then they'll have no problem understanding what I'm going to be talking about. But it's also easy to understand to those who aren't really familiar with this subject. So right now I'm going to talk about binary code and what it is along with how it works. With that being said, we'll jump right into it. So have you ever wondered how computers work? How does the computer know that you typed in the word hello or the number 1628? How does it know that once I press the letter H or the number 1 that it will be displayed onto the screen? Well, binary code, also known as machine code, is how computers and other electronics translate this information. All binary code is, is a representation of letters, digits, and characters being inputted into the computer. A lot of us, if not all of us, take for granted the amount of work computers have to do in order to do the things that we want them to, and that's why I'm going to cover how numbers specifically are translated into binary representations to appreciate just how much of a process the computer takes in order to accomplish its tasks. But before I start with an example, I just want to quickly cover two things. So there are essentially two numeric systems we use, decimal and binary. The decimal system, which is notated by base 10, is the numerical system we are all familiar with, numbers 0 through 9. Binary, however, is base 2, meaning it only contains two numbers to represent data, and in this case it's the numbers 0 and 1. So to begin, let's assume we want to find the binary representation of the number 272. You can do this process with any number and it will work out the same way. But in order to find this binary number, we divide each result by 2. And whatever the remainder is, in this case it's either going to be 0 or 1, we put to the far right most side of our representation. So here's how it works. We will divide this number by 2. Since 2 goes into 272 evenly at 136 with the remainder of 0, we place a 0 to the far right side and work our way to the left. After you do this, you divide 136 by 2 and repeat. Since this also goes into 136 evenly at 68 with the remainder of 0, we place another 0 next to the previous one. 68 when you divide by 2 also goes into it evenly at 34, leaving a remainder of 0, placing yet another 0 next to our sequence. 34 divided by 2 goes into 34 17 times, evenly with a remainder of 0, placing another 0 to the left. Now once we get the 17 when we divide by 2, it doesn't divide evenly. 2 only goes into 17 8 times with a remainder of 1 left over. So this 1 is placed next to the other numbers. You repeat this process dividing it by 2. And since this one goes into 8 evenly at 4 with a remainder of 0, we place another 0 next to the 1. Dividing this by 2, we get 2 with a remainder of 0, another 0. Divide by 2 again, we get 1 evenly with a remainder of 0, so we place another 0. At this point we divide 1 again by 2, and since 2 goes into 1 0 times, we still have a remainder of 1, so we replace this last 1 to the far left side to complete the sequence, leaving us with a new value of 0. So now you're probably looking at this number 1000010000, like okay, well how do I know for sure this number represents the number 272? Well, by convention, the right, far rightmost side position holds the value 2 to the 0 power, which ultimately equates to the numeric value 1, because 2 to the 0 power is 1. The next spot is 2 to the 1, which holds the numeric value 2, because 2 to the 1 is 2. And in, in this process repeats all the way down the chain, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, and so on. So now at this point, let's think of a power strip or a surge protector that you plug all of your electronics into. Well, if you've ever looked down at the power button, you see that the on and off positions have two symbols on them. The little line indicates the on position, and the circle symbol represents the off position. Well, we're going to think of it this way when looking at a binary number. Whichever position has a 1, this is an on position essentially, and we take this value and add up all of the other one values. 
So since 2 to the 4th and 2 to the 8th are both marked by 1's, we're going to take these values, which equates to 256 and 16, and add them together, giving us ultimately 272, which was our starting number. Well, that's how you figure out a binary representation of a number, and I'll do another video of how letters work. But in the meantime, be sure to check out our website at www.redport-ia.com where we offer quality information assurance and computer security as well as liking our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash redport and follow us on Twitter at redport underscore IA. Thank you, and if your security is falling short, call Redport. Thanks.